your weight test on the Sukhig battery is flawed. That is not how to do it. Do a capacity test on the batteries. It's not about weight. It's about what the battery can store. The batteries are actually 200 amps, but they are degraded. I mean, they are worn out. They are actually 200 amps. Now, let's try out the Sukhig 200 amps, 2 kilowatt hour lithium battery. Let's do this. Here are two units of uh, 200 amps sock heat batteries uh, that we'll be trying out this morning. This very guy is on 80%, just like a few minutes ago, is now on 85, uh, 81%, while this guy is uh, 75%. So I'll be disconnecting these two units of uh, 200 amps battery from Felicity, connected in series, from this, my uh, 3 kilowatt Fairman inverter. Now, I'll disconnect these guys because um, they are working presently. So I have to charge these two up because this one is on 81% while this one is on 75%. So I'll have to charge two of them up before we do our load test. So let me put everything off and connect these guys. So I've now connected two batteries in series and I'll be putting uh, our DC breaker on and uh, I will not be following the time of charge because the batteries are on certain percentage. You can see this guy have dropped back from 81% to 80%. Initially it was on 80%, then jumped to 81%, then back to 80%, while this guy still maintain the 75%. So I'll put on the DC breaker now. I will not follow the time of charge because the batteries are almost filled up already. 81% and 75%. So when the battery is fully charged, we will now begin our load test. So, um, like I said, I will not follow the time of charge. I will calculate the time of discharge or the number of hours it took us to discharge the batteries from 100% down to 0%. So I will not be using digital multimeter for any purpose or for any reason because the battery already has a display. So you can see this one now is on 76% from 70, okay, it's fluctuating between 75 and 76%, I think it has start charging. This guy have, has gone back to 80%. So when it's fully charged, we'll begin our load test. I can't keep waiting. Uh, this guy is on 100% while this one is on 86, 87%. Initially, uh, when this guy was on 100%, this one was on 97%. So I put the PV off. And immediately this guy dropped back to 88, 87. And now you can see it's fluctuating between 86 and, you know, 87. But I can't keep waiting for it because I'm not sure if it will come up. And uh, I can't charge it separately now. So I just have to begin the test because I don't know why it dropped all the way from 97 down to 88 or 87. You can see it now. It's back to 86. So it's fluctuating between 87 and 86. So I'll begin the test. I'll make sure... Uh, the load that will be on these very batteries will be around 1000 or 1000 plus to see the number of hours it will take us to drain out these batteries. I've put the inverter on. Let's just wait a minute for it to give output. The inverter is on. And um, I turn the PV off. Okay, the load is just about 11%, which is around 300 watt plus. I will increase the load so that the load will get to about 1000 plus. 37% load at 1130 watt or 1140 watt and uh, you can see within a short period of time this guy have dropped to 82% and this guy have dropped to 95% about 10:30 a.m. that is when i begin or began this test so one hour later we still maintain the same amount of load which is around 1150 watt or 1140 watt and uh, the battery, each one is maintaining, you can see this is 11.30. Remember, I started the test at uh, 10.30 and this is 10.30 the same day. Uh, this guy is maintaining 41% after one hour, all the way from 86%. While this guy that was maintaining about 100% uh, then is now on for, let's say, 50, 49%. Anyway, it has come down to 48% in, in this height kept fluctuating. 50 coming back to 47 then going back 
so this guy is still maintaining the same 41 percent and this is after one hour with the same amount of load now let's check if we are maintaining the same amount of load or the load increased or decreased you can see the same 38 percent with 1150 watt load on these two batteries and after uh, one hour we lose almost 50 percent we lose 50 percent from this and about 40 something percent from this so this is just within one hour when the battery finally go off then i'll come back and do the last video now this is one hour 50 one hour one minute that's 61 minute after 61 minutes you can see the battery percent 39 47 so it should go but it should go off within the next 30 minutes or maybe 20 minutes then i'll come back and do the video and i notice uh i noticed that the battery is heating up a little it's getting warm uh i don't know whether it's due to the discharge current but the discharge current is not much just about 50 amps this is what we are draining from the battery just 50 amps and the battery is getting warm so this is to say the battery is not up to what is written on the body but i will not conclude yet until after the battery finally go off so this is 11:38. that is one hour eight minutes which is 68 minutes uh this battery jump all the way from let's say 37 percent to zero percent that means the bms have gone off i don't know how they did this whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i just got a shock um that's not a big deal so the inverter will go off shortly you can see this guy have dropped to 31 percent all the way from 30 eight percent and this guy has shut down that is on zero percent the display has shut down but it's still giving output because the inverter is still on uh the inverter is still on and giving output so um from the conclusion of the whole matter is that this battery is not to up to what is rated on it which is 200 amps 12 volt 2 kilowatt is not up to and even though it's up to the cells using these batteries, I'm not sure if they use the right cell. You can see this guy have dropped to 27% all the way from 31%. Now the system have shut down after uh, after one hour, nine minutes. So this five kilowatt hour or let's say four, four kilowatt hour delivered just one hour, nine minutes. So now that you have confirmed the capacity from our load test, what is your conclusion? You can see the battery only gave about one hour eight minutes or one hour ten minutes with a one thousand one hundred and fifty watt load.